so it turns out people have figured out a way to get the Shadow Midas skin early. I mean, it's no surprise Fortnite Season 4 has been one of the most broken seasons of all time. I mean, just look at this! Who needs floors when you can walk upside down? Yeah, I think you could understand why we need to show you the 10 worst glitches in Fortnite Season 4. And guys, we are so close to 4.5 million subscribers, so if you subscribe right now, I'll have Sam mail all of you one pancake. Totally legit. But coming in at number 10, we have the Storm's Tornado glitch. Sometimes when you see glitches happen, they are very obviously just a glitch, but this person has found something which looks more like he's hacking than being the victim of a bug. According to them, if you emote and then use Storm's tornado ability right after, well, this happens. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but if I looked up and saw this random guy flying around, I'd scream he's a freaking hacker. Who knew it would be this easy to just activate flying mode? I mean, have you ever saw someone doing this in your lobby? At least you know why now. Thankfully, it was patched pretty quickly, but that didn't stop other glitches from breaking season four. Starting with number nine, the dinner bone glitch. So a flying around is pretty chaotic, at least we all know what caused it, but there was a glitch this season which took over the internet and no one knew how it was happening. Allow me to show you probably one of the wackiest glitches of season four, the dinner bone glitch. I mean, I remember when you could see this thing in your lobby. You just be playing a match and then you just see some legs come over a hill. It's both terrifying and hilarious. But while it still was game breaking, I wouldn't exactly complain if this was left in the game. But now let's move on to a more devastating glitch with number eight, the easy wins glitch. So while the other glitches were both funny and game changing, this next glitch is the first on our list, which probably ruined the entire integrity of Fortnite. And I'm not saying that lightly. In the middle of season four, people quickly realized that if you hacked a Stark bot and died before it did, well, something incredible would happen. Yep, if the Stark bot survived longer than you did, then the game would give you a win for spectating until the end. It's literally just a free win, and people would do this to get the umbrellas and challenges done really easy. It was crazy. And while it was patched quickly, you won't believe what Epic had to do when they found about. Number seven, the group baller teleport glitch. If there's one glitch everyone knows about, it's this one. Right in the middle of season four, when everyone had gotten used to the new abilities and meta, an absolutely devastating glitch appeared in the game. Let's just say Groot's Baller became the most overpowered ability overnight. Yeah, if you had no idea what just happened, this glitch let people pull out their ballers right next to you and the game would teleport you miles away. And I mean miles, look. Oh! What the f the thing was broken. In fact, it was so broken that instead of patching this thing, Epic left it in the game for a while and then just deleted the group baller from the meta. I really don't see it coming back either, but now it's time to move on to a more fun glitch with... Number six, the jetpack glitch. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This next glitch is actually pretty cool. I think it should be a real feature in the game. Just a little bit of context, with the new Tony Stark jetpacks now out in game, Fortnite feels a little bit more fun, but a glitch that people have found takes that fun to a whole new level. If you do a traversal emote and go onto a zip line, then you could use your jetpack and well, something pretty cool happens. I want this to be a thing. Look at it. Why can't we emote while using jetpacks? Come on, Epic, you gotta get on this immediately. And while this glitch looks awesome, our next one looks terrifying as we move on to number five, the no arms glitch. Fortnite has so many different features at this point that combining them all results in absolute disaster. Because of that, here's what happens when you combine a henchman disguise with the superhero abilities. It's very weird. Now, I don't know what kind of advantage having no arms gives you, but you definitely were able to troll your friends with it. As with most glitches on this list, it's patched now, but we'll probably find another way to have invisible limbs in season five. And speaking of henchman disguises, you're gonna love number four, the fetal position glitch. All right, I know that Dr. Doom is supposed to be this scary, powerful villain, but honestly, with this next glitch, it kind of shows his true colors. While going into a henchman booth could remove your arms entirely, some people would go into booths in season four and, well, they'd just come out looking like this. <laughs> I don't know what the Doom henchman saw inside that booth, but clearly it made him cower in fear. Not able to use guns, mats, even get rid of the disguise. It was a truly game-breaking glitch, although kind of funny. Like imagine seeing a crying Dr. Doom around the corner. I'd be so confused. But hey, at least you could see him, unlike... Number three, the invisibility glitch. 
I mean every single season of Fortnite, we have gotten some kind of glitch like this one. You've been playing Fortnite for a while, you almost definitely have come across someone using this glitch or probably even done it yourself. And of course, I'm talking about the infamous invisibility glitch. At the start of season four, people will get their henchman disguise and, well, abuse it. Not only could they get some weird glitched Doom henchman that looks like he was burned alive, but of course they got themselves an invisibility glitch. And all that's left was a floating head. I mean, look at this dude. I gotta admit, it's kind of a little bit more terrifying than a fully invisible person. And while this was an overpowered glitch, it wasn't abused as much as. Number two, the inside vault glitches. One of the best things Fortnite has added in a while was the addition of vaults, where you could kill the henchman boss, pick up their card, and go hunting for the insane vault loot. Although, with season four, a lot of the vaults have left the game, with the only ones left being hard to get to. So, people have come up with ways to break into these vaults without even needing to kill Iron Man or Doctor Doom. If you can't be bothered with fighting all those henchmen, you don't have to worry because you can just do this. Yeah, imagine if someone was already in that vault and a car just teleports through the wall and crushes them. The glitch was both great for skipping the henchmen and getting the jump on people with the key card, but thankfully it was patched because, well, it kind of ruined the game. Although I just gotta say it, if we're gonna get more vaults next season, it's gonna happen again. But before our number one spot, which is absolutely crazy, it's time to quickly enjoy an honorable mention with the Shadow Midas glitch. Players found a way to actually get the Shadow Midas skin early, and while this doesn't let you keep the skin, it's still a pretty cool glitch. So for our honorable mention, we have people finding out that you could equip Mystique, head over to Shadow Midas during Fortnite Mares, and actually kill him for a new skin. If you did the Mystique's built-in emote, you could pose as Shadow Midas and pretend to be the boss, as well as troll your friends, maybe get an advantage over unsuspecting noobs. But like I said, you weren't able to keep the skin, and it has the same power as disguising as a henchman, so take this as you will. But now that we've got everything else out of the way, it's time to finish off the worst season four glitch with number one, the under the map glitch. So people have been having this exact glitch every single season of Fortnite, I'm not lying. And it's something that comes up in every glitch video, tutorial, whatever. If you haven't seen an under the map glitch before, then we have to show this to you. But if you have seen them each season, people get more and more creative how to break the game. Apparently some players went over to Lazy Lake this season and just conjured up some random method. I, just check it out. I'm sure Epic Games are a little tired of having to patch these bugs, but hey, it, it comes with the game. But anyways, click on screen right now to check out this video. This has been Tommy, and you're watching Top 5 Gaming.